Okay. I contacted this person today because they tried to join one of my groups and they wanted to post the same old post that I've been seeing posting all over social media lately. So I contacted them and I says, why are you running around with my friend's old ass post that she has now corrected trying to post it? Why don't you post the correct, post the correct information? She said, which one? I said, the ones with James and Thorian. I said, you tried posting it up in one of my groups today and I declined it. She said, okay. So, what I'm referring to is this screenshot. Now, Let me jump down here real quick. Shamika done told you two days ago that that was inaccurate information, but yet you still tried to post it up in my group, so I'm not understanding that. But anyway, this is like you can see here. B made this post in the summer of 2018. Now, the way that they took this screenshot, it's got part of my post at the bottom. So, people have been pointing this out to me thinking that I was in support of this post, which I was not. Now, you can see these comments over here. And, you know, as this person is stating... saying that they are about the truth and she'll be back with the answers okay well you came back with saying that Teresa wasn't really Kanika's mother and saying that Teresa Martin's boyfriend James Coleman is also an ex-husband of Patricia Coleman Patricia Coleman and Teresa Martin are sisters so I made the post on that showing the Coleman versus Cole, and how Patricia's not a Coleman, she was a Cole. You know, um, so hopefully we got that straightened out. And, and you had posted up some other ones saying, you know, about the truth finders, you know, the online websites and whatnot. And again, like I had stated 18 hours ago when I made this post, I said, this right here will always be one of the top funniest things with this case folks can't read. By the way, her husband is Ronald Cole. I'm going to give you the video and Patricia's comments without having to go to my channel. I'll even throw in a list of many of their family members. Newsflash, many of these sites will run two years behind. Oops, I need to correct that. On their records. Therefore, at the time of Kanika's death, the records would have her as a minor which is why y'all don't find a lot of stuff about Kanika on these online websites okay and here's Patricia Cole saying thank you and everything else underneath my video and here's the video on my channel titled Cole versus Coleman And like I said, I show a bunch of the relatives, family members, whatever you want to call them. Even right here, spouse, Ronald. Okay. There's some more. I'm sure that they wouldn't make their stuff so private if people would just research without commenting crazy bull crap. That's why Teresa had her, Kenny, and Kanika a lot of their information taken down from the internet because folks can't act right so let's go back to the original referring to James Coleman and Dorian Hill now sometime last year I did a whole video on this and I got too many damn videos, almost 2,000 on my damn channel. So I ain't even trying to, I don't remember what the hell I named it. Or if I put it in a live, I don't even remember. 
But let me tell you, he gets his looks from his mama, not his daddy. This is Dorian's mother. Okay? That's first off. Oh, Lord, the pagans are coming. The pagans are coming. Hush, woman, I'm making a video. You still, the, the pagans is coming. The pagans is coming. That's all I could say. So here's his mother. Here's some of the people she has listed as her relatives. And I'm just going to zoom through this since the pagans are coming. All right, let's see. This is her two sons, Dorian and, Lord, I forgot this man's name. Forgive me, he just got released. And this is their daddy. You can sit here and you can go through her profiles. And you can see right here, like here. Stop playing with my sons. She the mama. There's Dorian. There's his brother. And like I said, I for, in my video, I took it all the way and got this boy's name. He's named after their daddy. He's a junior. I forgot his name, like I said. I even, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me, let me go look real quick, because I even got his mug shot. Hold up. Okay, I can't find his mug shot anymore. Yeah. But this is him on... Facebook. It goes under Chester Mob Smoke. This is Dorian's brother. There's a bunch of his photographs. This is the one, the photograph that I actually put in his, in the video that I had made last year. That's how I recognize it real quick. And, you know, they, they resemble each other a lot. At least in this photograph, anyway. So, y'all can go through and look at all that stuff. Whatever. Okay? And he's pretty close to all the guys. Little Ty, everybody. Mike, Mike. The whole nine yards. Now, James is not their daddy. Period. 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 Also, I recently saw some comments and I went back. I can't find them where they said it at. So, to put anybody's mind at ease, I know y'all ain't really worried about it. Those of y'all that are really serious about the case. But people were saying that Dorian was killed when he got shot. He was not killed. He is still alive. Very much alive. This post was made after he was shot. September the 5th, 2020. Can't afford to take a loss again. I know the feeling. I think this one was on his birthday. I can't remember when his birthday is. Let me see. Either way. He made this post with the car. This was October. Okay, here's his birthday. Sorry. September the 5th, 2021. So this was even last year. So, again. He's not dead. And I'm going to say this. Whether you like anybody, you don't like anybody, there is still no evidence against these guys. And imagine if it was your child that got shot. And you got strangers from all around the world talking about, your kid is dead, your kid is dead. Come on, y'all. Be, be, be adults, for one. Be serious. If you're going to be hollering J for K and all that, grow up. Act right. Get out of your emotions. Just act right. It's not hard. This is mama telling him happy birthday a couple months after he got shot. 
Like I said, he's not dead. And for those of y'all that think Patrick's dead, he's not dead either. Because he done picked up new criminal charges. And like I made a video before saying, and he's not in a wheelchair. Everybody's trying to say they're in the wheelchair, they're dead. They're neither nor. Again, here's some of the family members, real quick. Okay, let's see. Here's Dorian. Right here. I believe this is mother and father right here. Now. The uh, uh, parents... You can see here, mom's side is four corner. Dad's side is Trapper. Okay? And y'all remember the other night, if y'all watch uh, my live or whatever, I told you, majority of the guys in the, ho the party, Irene's hotel party, were Rockwell guys. There's no more Rockwell. So they... Switch their name up to J Dub, but like I said, these are the next generation from the Rockwell members. Put it that way. So I've done my 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 research. I've done my due diligence in knowing who these people are, and like I said, I know they're not dead. Here's another one of the pictures. I use I use this one in my video too. I remember that. And look, October 25th, 20th, he's not dead. 